Hey guys, it's Stephanie with Simmerkey, and welcome to The Sims 3 house tour of the Salvatore family's house. Now, this is actually something I've been wanting to do for a long time, and I'm only starting to get around to it, so if you guys like this part of the series of my house tours, please let me know in the comments below, and if you're new, please don't forget to subscribe for more Sims 3 and Sims 4 content daily. So basically what I'm doing, and I, again, I've wanted to do this for a while, I wanted to go through and kind of showcase some of the houses that I built in The Sims before I started my YouTube channel. So a lot of them are, um, well, not the best, especially on the outside when it comes to roofing and landscaping, as you can see from this one. Um, but a lot of the interiors were pretty cool, I thought. I experimented probably a lot more when I first started playing than I do now. Now I kind of just have my little tricks and favorite objects and things, which I, I try to get out of that bubble. I try to always, you know, be experimenting and coming up with new things. But I feel like, again, like I was a little bit more creative when I first started playing. So yeah, I, I really wanted to show off some of these interiors that I'm proud of. And this is one of my favorite houses that I ever made. And the reason I haven't really shown this one in particular yet is because there is actually a weird glitch. Um, I don't know if I could explain it properly, and I probably should have showed it at the beginning of this video, but I pre-filmed this tour so I could just do a voiceover. Um, you'll see it when we get to the backyard, but basically, like, when I place the lot down, the entire terrain gets lowered so the sims can't even get down to it and like all of the land rises up around the property um so unfortunately this one will not be available for download but i still wanted to show it because like i said it's one of my favorite houses that i ever built so this room that we're looking at right now is one of the kids bedrooms um i don't remember their names i think this is an eight person household which I didn't really play. I played for a little bit. And the reason I called it the Salvatore household is because I thought the dad looked a lot like Damon Salvatore from The Vampire Diaries. But again, I don't think I'm even going to show him. So sorry. This is kind of a weird video. But again, I really, I really like the interior. I feel like I used to play a lot more with different colors and patterns and be a little bit more experimental with the color choices. Um, each room kind of had a color theme that I stuck to. And for a while, I thought, oh man, that, that doesn't look good. That makes everything look so weird monotone but now looking back on it I think there's also a really cool element of it so for example this whole room is pretty much red and brown so every wood pretty much matches or complements each other um and that's something we can't do in the sims 4 which really sucks but again it was something i was able to really play with and hone in on in the sims 3 and i don't really do that that often anymore um that other room that's straight ahead that we saw when we first started was obviously a library i think that one was pretty self-explanatory and then this is our movie theater now again this house is huge it's a huge household so it's a big house it's all one story it's basically a ranch style home and i think there's like one two three four like five bedrooms maybe six and this is also one of my favorite rooms in this house it is the game room there is a pool table we're zooming over right now and there also is a bar area and a dartboard so yeah plenty plenty of activities in there for the whole family to just get together and have fun or invite their friends over and of course that bar serves non-alcoholic drinks for our little little sims as well <laughs> and all these doors all these doors i'm not sure which one we're going into next oh i can see i can see now okay <laughs> This is the master bedroom, mom and dad's bedroom, and again, lots of light blues and just cool, soft colors in this room. Uh, they have a little desk area over here, and then this is another one of my favorite things I've ever done. It's this master suite bathroom slash closet area. So over on the left, we have the hers side of the closet. Uh, we have a vanity set and all of her shoes and clothes over on the left-hand side. And then to the right, we have the his side of the closet. This one's a little bit smaller, but he still has plenty of room to get ready in the morning. And now we're heading over to the bathroom, which there is a leaky sink and that water looks funny suspended in midair because of course the game is paused because bad things happen when I hit play. <laughs> um, this bedroom, I mean bathroom, is I think really, pre really pretty. It's pretty close to what I would want for a master bathroom uh, in my real life if I ever if I ever could afford it. I love that jetted tub. I love that there's a standalone shower next to it. And yeah, I love the colors in there. Very relaxing, just like the bedroom. All right, now we're gonna go down further down the hallway and to the left, you can see just another archway that leads to that movie theater and game room that we saw. And now to the right, we have another technically game slash activity room. 
here to the left. This one is actually more for the younger kids. There is a chess set, an art easel, some musical instruments, and of course, of course, my favorite wall aquarium. I don't even see the fishies in there, but there should there should be fishies in there. Where did they go? I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't know where they went. All right, and then this is just a second little living area, more of a lounge room, just somewhere to sit and relax and read a book, have a cup of coffee, whatever, whatever your Sims enjoy doing. Just just some additional seating since this is such a big house. I figured they would need lots of areas to kind of spread out, spread out and have their alone time when they need. Um, and then of course there is a gym, just a small little gym in here. We have the little exercise. Um, clothing and shoes on the floor. We have a treadmill and a weightlifting bench and each one has their own flat screen TV so they can watch TV while they're exercising. And then of course we have the pull-up bar uh, over on the left hand side. Now we're heading into, you can probably tell from all the crazy colors, the nursery. <laughs> uh, I only set it up for one baby, but you could definitely, definitely fit quite a few in here if you added a few more cribs. Just very bright and colorful, lots of toys. And then there is another shot of the fishless aquarium window that looks into that activity center. So you can keep an eye on the kids while you're while you're in there doing whatever. Keep an eye on the little baby toddlers or babies that are in this nursery. And then this is the room for the younger kids, probably, um, yeah, I'd probably say kids, not teens. You could definitely put teens in here too if you wanted, but definitely some bean bags and fun photos. And those pillows in the middle, I still haven't been able to find. I don't know if that snuck in there from some sort of custom content or if it's part of the game and I just never found them again. But if if it is part of one of the packs, please let me know because I'd love to find it again because I love those pillows so much and I, they're gone. They're gone forever. I don't know where they went. Um, we have two beds in here, two twin beds and a computer area. Sorry, I almost lost my words. Now, this bathroom is really fun. They have their own bathroom in here. Lots of greens and blues and reds, just really fun primary colors. We have that beautiful mermaid up on the wall and a separate shower, tub, toilet, laundry hamper. Lots of laundry hampers in there. I think there was two of them. And of course, sinks, just, just your standard bathroom stuff. Now, I am going to cut the film here and just move on to the other side of the house because it would have taken forever for that camera to slowly creep down that hallway. But this is our dining room. And again, one of my favorite dining rooms I ever made. I don't know how I'm not less creative anymore. Look at all those cabinets. It just looks so, so formal and lots of storage. And I love the blues with the yellows. It's so sunny and bright and fun. Oh, I love this kitchen so much. <laughs> we have a little breakfast table over to the left. And again, some more counters and more bench bench seating, stool seating. I don't know what you call those. Uh, I do know what you call those. I'm just not thinking right now. Breakfast bar. There we go. Breakfast bar. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go down further uh, to the other side of the house. There's definitely some more inside of here. Like I said, it's a pretty big home, pretty big home. But again, that dining room is so cute. I really like it. I'm really sad that I can't play in this house because of that weird glitch. And I've tried placing it in different parts of town and different towns and it just, I don't know, there's something wrong with the save file, I think. But now we're heading into the guest ba bathroom. Uh, again, this one has, just has those really soft blue colors in here. We have a tub shower combo in this one. Lots of counters, lots of uh, cute little decor with the mermaid on the floor. And then this one has a separate room for the toilet, which we'll take a peek at in a second. But there is also a laundry room, which again, I really like this laundry room. I feel like it looks pretty realistic. We have the washer and the dryer, um, the hanging clothes, and then the place to, to uh, fold your clothes and sort them. So again, one of one of my favorite bathrooms ever. And now we're going to go further down the hallway to the very last bedroom before we go outside. And I do have a fun surprise outside for you guys. Um, but this is the guest bedroom. There are two double beds in here. So if you have a really big family, if you have a mod that lets you have more than eight Sims, you could definitely utilize this, even split it into two bedrooms. Or if not, you could just use it as a guest bedroom. And I kept everything in here, just very matchy-matchy, just clean, nothing nothing crazy, just a couple bookshelves and a couple of beds. Now, again, I'm going to do this little camera cutting where we go to the other side of the house, and we're about to go into the backyard. Now, you could probably already see the grass coming up, like I said, that weird glitch. Um, yeah, the train is 
all messed up all around like that, all around the whole property like that. So you can't even get in here. If you really want to play, maybe you could teleport your Sims in here, but I'm not even going to bother uploading it to the gallery unless someone really, really asks for it. And it is a 64 by 64 lot. It is huge, huge. So there's our pool that we just saw. And you could probably, well, you could definitely see the surprise I was talking about, but guys, I built a tree house and I love this tree house so much. It is something that I definitely wanted to play with when I first started playing the game. I can't remember who it was, but I saw someone make a treehouse and I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. I need to make one of my own. So I did. I did. And of course, we're going to take a peek inside of that in just a few seconds. Um, we passed the hot tub to the right and now we are also looking at all of the kids' activities. We have a sandbox, a teeter-totter, the little springy toy things. I still don't know what they're called, but there is a seahorse. Yay, seahorse! And a little pirate ship and a slide and some sleeping bags so they can have a little camping night out here and a swing set and now we're going up the stairs into the tree house or I should say up the ladder and again this is one of my favorite things I ever built I love this house so much oh god I want to play it I want to play with it now uh, we have some toys we have a bunk bed and although it is a tree house we have some tree on the other side accidentally growing into here that I did not mean to do but that's okay that's okay and yeah, there's, you can see the bunk beds better. There's a little computer desk, um, lots of activities in here as well. We have the TV over here with some books and some toys. And I didn't actually show it, but um, way over in that right-hand corner behind the butterflies, there is a little bathroom. So it's actually pretty functional. We even have like the little kids um, oven where you could probably bake cookies and muffins and things, but yeah. Uh, one of my favorite things. So I am going to flash a couple of screenshots, even though we just did a tour, just so I can do my outro. And thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my next video. In the meantime, there are plenty of videos, plenty of playlists with my daily Sims content that you could sit down and watch. And yeah, thank you so much. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. I will see you in the next video. And that's, is that it? Is that my whole outro? That felt so short, but yeah, I, I guess that's it. <laughs> Thanks guys. See you next time. Bye. Wait guys, before you go anywhere, make sure to click over here to subscribe and click down here to watch some more videos. See you next time.